Uh, good morning, friends. Hi and hello and welcome to another video. So, um, I wanted to share one of the things that I have observed after um, the sudden removal of uh, COVID protections, what is known as the Dynamic Zero COVID uh, here in China. And um, the main thing that I want to say is that I see a lot of people out there still looking after themselves, still wearing masks, still choosing, and this is a very interesting thing, choosing not to um, congregate in large groups and not to go out and uh, just go all crazy uh, just because these protection measures um, are no longer required. There's another aspect that I wanted to mention is that most free COVID testing sites are gone. I've had to pay for the last three days uh, for COVID testing. Um, I, if I want to be in a public tube uh, with 20 other people, I will pay 2.8 RMB, which is, I don't know, whatever, 50 cents. But if I want my own tube so as not to be uh, with other people, uh, then I will have to pay 13.5 RMB. This is what I've had to pay uh, three times already. Uh, I, I, I mean, when you when you compare that to the fact that I would get daily tests because I wanted to, nobody was asking me to, but I would get daily tests for free. If I were to do that right now, uh, even at 2.8 RMB, because the public one is, is a group one, that would mean almost 70 RMB uh, a month. Imagine a, a low-income family with three kids, for example, having to pay 210 RMB a month a family that probably doesn't earn all that much that 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 is a dent now if they had to do that so um, a lot of people are going to start appreciating the things that they were getting for free um, well the truth is a lot of the places are still requiring either 24 or 48 hours testing so um, some places do some places don't so you really don't know if you're going to have the situation of walking into a place and not having the right one that they ask. So to save yourself, you're going to be still testing uh, regularly. So until those, until there's a mandate saying that no testing is required uh, anywhere anymore, then those companies that are charging for private testing um, are going to make a dent uh, in the finances of a lot of families here in China. That's that's uh, observation number one or number two, as I was saying. Um, the other thing is, you see now a lot of people still masking. Like, I'm masking. I'm anywhere I go, uh, I am masking because I know that there is going to be an uptick in cases. There's going to be an increase in cases very very soon because people are relaxing because people are. Some people are going out there thinking like, oh, finally, right? And party, party, or travel, travel, and don't care about stuff. Um, the other thing is that some of the regulations that were changed, even if you have a positive uh, test and you have COVID, you don't need to go to a hospital. That's one of the things that they want. They don't want to make the hospitals uh, too busy, so they allow you to stay at home. And nobody's going to check that you're coming out or not coming out because that, that that's all gone. That's what the people wanted. So now you could be in an elevator with a person who's a positive case who's not wearing a mask because he doesn't. There's no mandate. There's no. That's what's scary. I think that the next three to six months with winter coming are going to be for some people a little bit tough. I'm glad that I'm traveling in my RV, which means that I don't need to uh, be moving around in airplanes or trains or things like that. I can just stay in my RV and stay away from people and, and do the best I can to protect myself. But I know that there are a lot of people who don't have that privilege, that don't have that, that, that ease of travel in relative safety. So there you go, guys. That's what I wanted to share with you, two things. It's going to be very easy to uh, identify those people who still care about it, who still worry about it, and those who just are fed up with it. They're masking, not masking, you will know. And the issue with, with the testing is 
it's still an issue. It's still an issue because, well, we're not we're not sure when COVID, te uh, sorry, um, codes or or testing requirements are going to change all over the place. We just went to a bank 